G'day folks. Well, I finally uh, found that old vintage frigid air compressor that I found at the junkyard about a year and a half ago. And I finally cut the top off it. I mean, the thing wasn't working properly to begin with, so I don't mind wrecking it. It's better to show people what's inside than just chuck it out as scrap. And under the top covers, the motor. A little paper insulation and twine holding it together. Very old. It's not even varnished, it's just tied together. And that's the motor's rotor. So, the pump itself is all in the bottom. I'm going to try and get that rotor out first, I think. I'll try and separate these sheet metal retainers. That stuff there. Okay, well the rotor just fell out. Um, it seems to be some kind of primitive rotary. You see the eccentric lobe there. And down inside, a little plate. I'll try and get that assembly out. Oh, it is too, it's a rotary. See the vein in there. Um, that would probably mean the outer housing is the high side. Yeah, it's a rotary compressor. It's a rotary refrigeration compressor like that. That's the same deal. Suction comes in down the bottom and you get the high pressure, high temperature gas on the outside. So this really old English made compressor out of a Frigidaire American built refrigerator is actually a rotary compressor. It says there, made in England. I'm trying to split the housing at the moment to get the stator out and get into the bottom of it. It's just one big bowl. Uh, I'm thinking those four screws will actually remove that pump assembly as it is. I might not have to take the stator out. Yeah, not going to go back in again, but that normally just stops the rotor from floating. It's got a little bit of clearance and it just sits there. It obviously hovers on its own magnetic field and whatever oil's in the bearing. But yeah, it's essentially it's the same as a rotary air conditioner compressor, except it's out of a fridge. I don't think they've used those in many years. This one's got to be 50 years old. Okay, well that's about it right there. I've got the uh, stator and its little shroud out. Just got to wedge a screwdriver in the housing and open it up till you can just pull it out by hand, unbolted the pump assembly which we'll dismantle in a second, that one can go aside, and it's just the housing, insulation's all broke, broken down and burnt, it's no wonder this thing was running funny and tripping the bloody breaker, there's so many spots where this thing could have been burning up, particularly in there where it's black, so she's toast. Interesting laminations. <laughs> Very crude. Just made out of scrap off offcuts. Not even very solid. That's one very crude stator and neat little rotor though. <laughs> Make a good paperweight. It's got copper laminated through it, not instead of aluminium. A lot of rotor all the rotors these days are alloy. They have aluminum pressed or cast through the uh, laminations to create magnetic poles. Cool, let's clean this pump up and dismantle that. Okay, that's the pump. It's opened for the first time in about 50 years. I don't really know for sure how old this compressor is, but the, the fridge it came out of looked 1950s-ish, maybe 60s. Uh, that's a suction inlet reed valve or disc valve little spring-loaded retainer. Now the vein's been interesting, it has a flat spot on it. It doesn't actually rotate freely like the normal rotary compressors do these days. It actually has that ground into it. It's fully hardened. It's a very hard piece of steel. And they've ground that notch into it for the vein. Very precise piece of equipment. I mean the pump's fine, it's just the um, the motor gave out, and that's all there is to it. It's 
the vane, the rotor, and that's the discharge side there, that little hole. Yeah, there's the discharge reed valve on the other side. It goes to the housing of the compressor, and the suction comes up from underneath on that little round block that was on the underside. So all of this can actually go back together again as a working unit. Assuming I can get the screws in the holes. Well, the whole pump mechanism and everything is absolutely fine. There's no wear in the bearings, like there's no I can't feel any play in the bearings. Still pumps fine, it spins free with a little bit of oil on it. You can hold your finger over the valves and feel pressure coming out or suction on the inlet side. It's a fantastic piece of equipment. So smooth. It's a shame they don't make stuff as good as this now. Even the copper in the uh, stator. It's all alloy now. This thing's old. It must be 50 years old. Very cool. That's the end of that one. I'm going to keep this as a paperweight. It's too good to throw out. Uh, thanks for watching.